I know that the uh, court uh, rendered in favor of the lady down in Oklahoma and they gave her an $800,000 award, which probably the church won't pay because they'll appeal it and it'll mm -hmm. go on and on and on and on and on. Let me react to that. What happened was that church down there uh, engaged in a form of discipline of this woman for adultery. Right. And uh, as a result of that, they put her out of the church. She turned around, sued the church for a a lot of money, got $800,000 awarded by the court for slander, defamation of character, whatever. Now, my response to that is this. One, that's a risk that the church will have to run to be biblical. But we run a lot of risks to be biblical. Two, they didn't do it in a biblical manner. They overstepped the bounds extensively. What they did, what they did was... They got up in front of the church and, and um, articulated every incident of adultery, time, place, with whom, all the whole gory thing oh. that that woman was involved in. They dragged the whole thing in front of the public. Then they betrayed personal counseling confidences that the woman had given to those leaders. Uh, that's not biblical. Yeah. It is a shame to speak of things done in secret. There's no point in dragging all that garbage out. My own personal feeling is that that, that kind of stuff doesn't need to be in anybody's conversation. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear that. I don't need to hear that kind of stuff. And I always wonder what kind of people are, the, are people who get some kind of a morbid kick out of all yeah. that kind of uh, thing. So the, the thing is, the church must be permitted constitutionally in the United States to follow the mandates of its own religious convictions. That's the freedom of religion. That's a First Amendment right. But if we stay within the confines of the Word of God, I think we're not going to be culpable because all the Bible says is that if a person engages in unrepentant sin, we are to put them out, treat them like a public and in the tax collector. How do we treat them? We treat them with love. We try to draw them back, but we don't accept them in the fellowship. So all we want to say is, for unfaithfulness, this person has been put out of the fellowship. Those are the conditions in which you came in. Those are the conditions in which you go out. The Catholic Church has been excommunicating people since its inception. The Mormons excommunicate people. The Jews un synagogue people. They can kick you out of the Rotary Club. They can boot you <laughs> off. The, they can boot you out of the Royal Order of the Goats. They can kick you off the Little League team. They can throw you out of the high school. They can fire you at the Seven Eleven where you work. I mean, there are conditions on which you belong to any organization. Mm -hmm. And it, as long as you stay within the the stated conviction of that organization, you have every right to do that. I mean, if, if a guy violated the gir a Boy Scout rules or if a girl violated the Girl Scout rules, could they put her out of the Girl Scouts? Sure, there are conditions by which you belong to that organization. Every institution organization has that. They can throw you out of university. They can, th they can throw you out of kindergarten, for that matter. So, I mean, if they're going to debate about that, that's ridiculous. But the problem in that church in Oklahoma came when they started dragging that woman's name through the gutter and re re relating to the whole church every single sinful incident which she had given to them in confidence. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. It's like uh, saying this pornographic film is horrible and this is what they do. Uh, that's exactly right. Yeah. Like holding up, like passing out pornographic magazines saying this is what we're against. <laughs> yeah, that's lurid. That's, that's, that, that's not virtuous. You don't need to do that. All you need to do in love is say, look, this person doesn't want to obey the Lord. This person doesn't want to follow in obedience to God's will. So we, what did I say Sunday about those two people that we mentioned? We must go and bring them back. We must right. go and love them back. We must go and expose their sin and draw them back. Mm -hmm. Now, if they don't choose to do that, then next time we'll say they've, by their choice of sin, chosen not to be a part of our fellowship, and we want to recognize that they are not a part of this fellowship. Well, and there's no slander involved in that because we have conditions very clearly defined for us in the Scripture.